Employees have told us this hospital had about 38 coronavirus patients the other day, but overnight they went down to zero. They've all been transferred out. The question is, why and where have they gone? They were transferring the patients in a hurry to get them out of there. Up until today, Jason Bradford worked in patient registration at Beaumont Hospital in Wayne. Bradford says his co-workers have been on the coronavirus front lines ever since the Wayne facility started curbside testing in March. And it just expanded from there, and before we knew it, we became an exclusive COVID-19 hospital. But about 10 days ago, employees say Beaumont Wayne stopped accepting COVID-19 patients from other locations. Then, this past weekend, healthcare workers tell us Beaumont Wayne started sending their current coronavirus patients away, including patients on ventilators. There was a message from one of the med staff that the EMS was hectic and, and busy and nonstop just picking up patients and, and transporting them to other facilities. Bradford says he and other employees don't understand why. It's bad enough that they're not able to have family or friends or loved ones bedside. Now they're being treated like like a mad dash. A Beaumont spokesman says they will keep the Wayne location as a reserve coronavirus hospital if it's needed for another surge. They say it's in pause mode, but Congresswomen Debbie Dingell and Rashida Tlaib are calling Beaumont irresponsible and demanding they reopen it. The mayor of Wayne says he's furious that employees received layoff notices in the middle of a pandemic. Mayor John Racy told us, quote, I want my ER open immediately. My residents deserve to have a hospital during this crisis. This should not be an issue. I expect more from you, Beaumont Hospital. How in the world could they possibly think of locking their doors and turning their backs on the community at a time like this, especially when we're expecting another surge? A Beaumont spokesman told us in a statement, the few remaining patients at Wayne were safely discharged home or transferred to other hospitals. The hospital is now temporarily paused and not serving any patients. He also said we are still operating under several executive orders that severely restrict the extent and type of care we can provide to our community. Until these executive orders are lifted and the disaster declaration has ended, we are not changing the COVID-19 only status of the Wayne Hospital. We have much more from Beaumont at WXYZ.com. I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.